Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Today is normally delivery day, but it's not today. Well, it is, but I just ordered live food. So nothing to show you. I've got the live food all on the shelves, all ready to go. But what we're gonna do instead today, we're gonna do some animal taming and handling today. So we're gonna do a couple more steps to the European eyed lizard, see if we can get him to come out touch us on the hand. Uh, and then we're gonna get all the snakes out, cause a past LG strike fed for us on Sunday, which is fantastic. After we just plonked it down there, she slowly dragged it in and ate it, which is brilliant. So I'm really happy about that. We give her him a once over. We'll go around all the other ones, show you everybody we've got in stock. And then, yeah, we should have a good day. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. And let's crack on with animal handling and taming day. Boop, boop. Also got a forever home today. I'm not gonna spoil it. So we're gonna wait until they come and then pop, 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 pop. There he goes. That's the plan. Okay, so here we are with Mr. European Eyed Lizard. He's doing a lot better. He used to run away straight away, but he's literally right there. That scared him a little bit, because he went for my finger. So we're gonna see if we can lure him back. So I couldn't leave it like this, because he's scared at the moment. So we never want to leave any interaction with him being scared, because he's gonna remember being scared, and that's it. So, we need to make sure he's nice and chilled out like he is now. He's just calmed down a little bit because he's wandering around again. Oh, okay, he spotted it. Okay, he touched me a little bit then, really good. I didn't want to put my fingers in because he was right there and if I'd have moved my fingers, he'd have gone for my fingers. I'm gonna let him eat that one. And then we're gonna try putting our hand fully in this time. Like a little bridge. Here he is. He's looking. Come on then, dude. Come on. Oh. You gotta come on my hand to get it. And remember, each time he does it, he's going to be less willing to come out for the food. Because the first one, he's hungry, so he doesn't care what's going on, he wants it. But now, he's not that hungry. So he's on and on in whether he thinks it's worth it or not. And he's decided it's not worth it. Yeah, he's thinking one was enough, so I don't want to force anything. And he's left happily. He's wandered off, wasn't running, wasn't scared or anything like that. So I'm happy just to chuck him one in as a treat and class that as one little step forward. Um, yeah, mate, you're coming back. If you want one, you can have one. I just chucked you that one in, but you can't see it, can you? Yeah. Do you want it? Do you want it? Come on in, come on in. Come on in. Yes! Epic. Had full belly on my hand then. Perfect, he's really happy. So he's shut the glass while he's eating. You don't want to scare him, nice and steady. Perfect little step forward there. He's come and sat on our hand. Um, you can see when he came over, when he was chasing the locust, as soon as he seen my hand, he went no, and turned around. Then his belly switched on and went no, actually I really, really want that locust. So that's when he came, jumped on me, ate the locust and ran off again. Perfect. That is 100% the best way to tame a European eyed lizard. You keep repeating that and he'll come further and further up your arm. He'll become more and more friendly with you. Um, and then it, it's, it will switch overnight almost. You'll be thinking he's not making any progress. He's not making any progress. And then one day he'll just be on your arm. If you go back to some of my older, older videos, um, which you won't be able to see for much longer because I'm going to put them for only um, uh, What's it called people who join the YouTube channel so anyone who's part of the tribe will be able to see those older ones But uh, I'm going to be taking them all off for members only so Because uh, it doesn't really represent what we're doing now, uh, but it's nice to be able to see the history of the channel 
Um, so if you're interested, once I change them, if you're interested in seeing the older videos, you'll have to become a member to see those videos. So let's crack on. Let's get some, one of the snakes out. Let's see how we get on. Okay, it's time to do some work with the dwarf, super dwarf retic. So uh, they haven't bred them down to be smaller. Uh, what's actually happened is there's a little island that these ones come from and they've dwarfed from being on the island. Um, people have bred them the smallest from those islands and tried to make them even smaller. Um, so there still is a chance of this one reaching about eight foot. Um, but it's hard to predict unless you know what the adults are. If you know how big the adults are, you can make a good guess on how big the babies are going to be. Uh, but I have to say there's a possibility of her getting eight foot because there is that possibility. And if I sell it to somebody, say, oh, no, it's only going to get five, six foot, and it gets to eight foot, I've given them the wrong information. So she is very uh, aggressive in the tank. So we're going to try. She will probably strike at me. Hopefully she'll just come straight out. You're going to be good. You gonna be good? There's a girl. No? Okay. Let's try it from the other side. Hey, don't you go back like that. No, we don't want to get bitten. You've gone in the perfect strike range. Come on. Come on, you're okay. You're okay. There we go. Okay. As soon as she comes out, she calms right down. I think she's beautiful. Her markings, she's absolutely stunning. She's in her face, is so cool. As soon as she's out, she's fine. She can strike at me in the tank and stuff, uh, but a lot of that is I think it's feeding responses, um, maybe a tiny bit of viv aggression. Thing is, in her head, she's still a little baby. And if we're coming at her in the tank where she's got nowhere else to go, she's cornered. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? You can't blame her for being that little bit fussy. So I'm not too concerned about that, especially as soon as you get her out. She's not, she's not bothered by nothing. We'll check if she's, how we can do some head taming with her. Let's just do a quick check. Oh, there we go. Hold her on the head and we let her pull through. Lovely job. So that's a nice little test there. So she's not too nasty without anything with the head. We can try and tap it on the nose. No, she's not really too fussed about that. That's good. We'll try and do the head again. Yeah. She pushes out, but she doesn't squiggle, she doesn't go mad. So I'm really happy about that. She's a bit of a wiggle bum. She likes to constantly be moving. But that'll come with a bit more hand in. A bit more hand in, she'll be a bit more plodder. As soon as she gets bigger, she'll be a bit more of a plodder as well then. I think she's beautiful. There's her belly. The side markings are beautiful. There you go. Absolutely stunning. I think she's beautiful, I really do. And the face. Such a lovely looking face. And her... And her um, She's got amber eyes. So pretty. So we put her back. There you go. I suppose you weren't in the water bowl, to be fair. I have freshly sprayed the tank, so I'll just do this side because I couldn't do it before. Because she was sat there and she was attacking it. <laughs> okay, there we go. One handle done. Let's move on to the next one. Here we go. It's pastel G strike time. Ooh. Let's see how we do it. Hey, buddy. Sorry about that, we had a customer. So we'll do a redo. I think she's in this point this time. He's in this corner. I know it's a he, I do. Oh, yeah, it's one of my favorite looking ones. Absolutely beautiful. The markings on it. I love the, the, the stripe going all the way down. I think it looks so cool on the snakes. Especially on 
something that's meant to just have like patches of colour and stuff. It just blows my mind they've been able to produce something like this that's so completely different to the wild ones. I think it's so cool, which is really nice. He's, re he's he, Alex, he. It's a he. Okay, he. He's doing really well. Um, check his head. Let me hold his head. Try to touch him on the nose. Didn't mind that. I think he's really, really good. I do. I think he's going to be really, really well for us. He's a little bit timid at first. Oh, he's got, yep, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, hey, you're okay, you're okay. See? See the head pin? You're okay, mate, we're not trying to do anything. We're just checking how, our, how your temperament is. But you can pretty much do anything with him, and I'd be very surprised if he struck. I'd have struck by now if he was going to. Really, really nice snake. Eh, fantastic for me. Didn't strike, but that's no problem. Some snakes don't strike. Uh, like you saw with um, Superfly, he took four or five uh, drop feeds for him to actually strike at one for me. Uh, but there we go. So put you back in there, nice and snug as a bug in a rug. And we'll probably do quicker ones than the other ones because uh, we're running out of time. Because I've been talking for too long. I think going around everybody was a bit of an overstatement. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get around everybody. So we do pastel pied. Um, we do rescue corny, the one who's abandoned, because he needs a little bit more handling. And then we get Big Betty out. Yeah. Hello. Whoop. No food. Touching. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing Alex is fast. Yes, it is. Wow, oh, nice and chunky. Where am you? Come out the bushes. There we go. Oh, that extra mouse has done us a good in. Look how chunky he's gone. Look at that. Oh, I think you're on two feeds now. Or oh, we're moving up a size. Thing is, he's got a little tiny head. That's the only problem we've got. He's got a little tiny head compared to his big body. So I think we're gonna go with two feeds now instead of the one. So we're gonna feed him two uh, extra large mice and then that's gonna keep him nice and fat and chunky. Because look at the difference, he's put so much weight on. Just having that extra feed, wow. So yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm really happy, he's, just, he's bulletproof he is, he's that tame. And just hold his head, I'm tap him on the nose. He's fine, not, not bothered by anything. Apart from, obviously, he's very hungry daily. That's the only thing we've got. Um, so that's why we've got in uh, that stripe then, because she thought we was feeding, because the last thing we did with her was feeding. So it's understandable. Um, we're gonna put him back in. Again, I've got the she's and sh he's and she's wrong, but they don't mind if I misgender them. They don't mind. Right, so I've got a poo here, I'm going to get out and let's go do another snake. Next on our trip around, we've got Corny. Can we get him before he goes in the log? Yes, we can. Look at that. It's a beautiful colour. A nice grey black mix. Still a little bit wild because, of course, he spent three weeks back in the wild basically uh, he was abandoned after someone moved house and uh, they just left him in the garden of their uh, where they were renting a house or flat or whatever and the groundskeeper found him um, so yeah he's gone a little bit wild still he's doing better he's doing better he hasn't he stopped doing the waggly tail so the waggly tail is a uh, they do for predators and stuff like that um, it makes the predator think that it's a rattlesnake because it can hear the leaves rattling or anything rattle. So that's another reason why they do that. And he's still very, very touchy about being touched, but that could be he didn't get much touching originally. It's hard to know because they come with no backstory. So 
But he's doing really well. He's not bitey or anything, which is fantastic. So he can go straight to her home. Um, so we'll put him back. There you go, buddy. The more we handle him, the more he's going to realise that we're not going to hurt him. Uh, a lot of it is just because he's gone back to his uh, natural instincts, which are to stay away from everything, basically. There we go. Now we've all been waiting for Big Betty. Okay, there she is. I don't want to mess with her too much because she had a big feed, so we may handle her, we may not. I'm going to make the decision when we have a look. Hi. What you doing? Snakey. Snakey snake. She's a snakey snake. And it just fell completely on the floor. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're in shed. Hi. Should we have a look at you instead and not get you out? Yeah? Should we do that? Yeah, I don't want to mess with her while she's in shed. It's not, that's not fair while she's feeling awkward. There you go. There she is. Hi. See, we can stroke her on their head and stuff. I'm okay. There we go. You can see she's gone very iridescent again. So that's the uh, skin trying to lift itself off. She's a little bit scared because she can't see what's going on. The shadows and going over the top of her is what's winding her up the most. That's why she's going down into her uh, semi-attack position. What I might do is we might just get her out for 30 seconds so I can put the hide back and then put her back in. Forever home time, darling. Yes, you get to go to your forever home. Hello, little one. Hello. Can we have a little looky loo? You've got a lovely custom built tank to go into. He sent me photos, I've seen it. I've seen it, I have. Don't you run away. Don't you run away. Come out the bushes. There she is. You okay? I'm okay. There you go. There she is. Absolutely stunning blizzard. We love the blizzards. Solid black eyes. In my eyes, she's a blazing blizzard because she's got the solid black eyes. No bits of colour. But she only came in as a blizzard, so... But she's, she's so cute. Little baby gecko. Well, juvenile. Very cool. I realised that... No, 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 that did. But we can't do much now because she's in the way of everything. You're okay. Whoa. Don't be nasty. That was a big hiss. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm okay. Move this way then. You're okay. Move this way then. Hey. Right. Don't have you open your mouth at me. I'll put that there so I can move it afterwards. We've got to put the hide back, darling. I'm going to have to put it back on top of you because you're just going to be moody. Come on. Oh, she's hissing. Come on. I've got to put all your stuff back in. You okay? Put your stuff back in. Yeah, she's in shed and she's a moody, moody Betty today. Come on, move out the way. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to stress her out anymore. Um, I was just going to get her out to move her and put her hide back so she can go straight back in the hide. She'll sort herself out herself. I was just mithering, really. Um, yeah, she's never hissed at me before either, so that's a sign to. Leave me alone, Alex. I'm not in the mood, so I shall leave her alone. Put the branch back in, can I? I'll put it there so it doesn't bother you. There we go. You're okay. I'm leaving you alone. Okay. Oh, so not the finish we was expecting, but I did get hissed up by a big snake, so bonus points. So I'm guessing a little bit, maybe. So yeah. We've done some handling today. We made some progress with a lot of the animals I'm really happy with. 
European oil lizard did really well jumping on me, so I'm really happy about that. But there we go. That's all the time I've got for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, it should be on there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. Apart from that, I'll see you in the future. Bye.